Hey there, Dave here. After using this camera, the Canon EOS R, for three weeks now, every single day for this daily vlog, I think I've come to a fairly dramatic conclusion. I think I want to sell all of my Sony gear. When I bought the Sony a7 III less than a year ago, it was absolutely top of the line, state of the art, the hottest, latest, greatest, hottest thing. There was a waiting list to get it. There are a lot of people out there who are saying the EOS R doesn't even come close to the a7 III when it comes to the specs, particularly with the ability to do 4K uncropped and eh, that's about it. But the biggest thing that this camera is missing is the little flip out screen. And for what I've been doing for the past three weeks, I can't imagine not having the flip out screen. I do love the 16 to 35 f2.8 lens, but Canon is coming out with an RF mount 15 to 35 f2.8 lens. They should be coming out with that very soon. I wanna get rid of this before that comes out. This is what I used to have to do to be able to see myself while filming myself. First of all, I got really good at judging where I am in the frame by the reflection on the front glass. But when I needed control over the actual framing, I needed to do something like this. And this is completely ridiculous. Even though the weight difference between this monstrosity and the Canon EOS R is only about a half a pound, I never actually used this configuration unless I was at home. But we're not gonna solve the Canon versus Sony debate in this video. This video is all about where in the world is the best place to actually sell used camera gear. I started doing some research last night. There are basically two places to sell used camera gear, online and offline. And offline, I checked with my local camera shop. They were not interested in Sony. They don't sell enough of it, so they couldn't offer me. They told me to go online and that I would get a better price there. When it comes to the online sites, there are places like B&H and Adorama. Is that how you say their name? Adorama? That doesn't sound right. And then there's other places that more specialize in used gear. The two big ones are MPB.com and KEH.com. And I was shocked at how little any of these companies were offering for very expensive gear. Less than one year ago, this camera body, the a7 III, and this kit lens that came with it sold for $2,200. MPB.com is offering $1,310. KEH is offering $1,322. B&H Photo is only offering $915. And Adorama has not yet responded to my email asking for a quote. The others gave you an instant quote online. So at the best case, I'm getting less than 60% of what I paid for this gear less than a year ago. I just can't do it. I, I can't do it. I'd rather have it sit in the closet than, no. It's actually a great idea to sell gear. Having some Sony stuff sitting around not being used is a complete, complete waste of money. But I can't bring myself to taking a 41% loss on something that's a year old. So. I'm going the eBay route, which means this is gonna be a little mini series because I'll have to give you an update later on how the stuff does. But I just wanted to share with you the pricing that was being offered for various things. Oh, and these lenses, this Sony G Master 16 to 35 millimeter f2.8 lens, new is selling for $2,200. The offers I received were MPB 1,345 and KEH 1,279. And I think we've already disqualified B&H because they don't offer anything, but they did offer $990. No thank you. I did some research on closed eBay auctions. The average selling price for the a7 III is $1,758. That's $400 more than the best offers from other sites. And for that lens, again, $1,700 versus $1,200 to $1,300. So I think I'm going to list this stuff on eBay. But before I do, if you guys know of a better place to sell camera gear, let me know. Put it in the comments below because it really pains me to sell nearly brand new, perfect condition equipment for such a substantial discount to what I paid for it not long ago. Of course, the thing to remember about eBay is it's free to list, but when it sells, they take 10% and PayPal also takes around 3%. Instead of taking a 40% loss, I'd only be taking roughly a 30% loss if this stuff sells for the average that it's been selling for on eBay. 
I just finished up a little photo shoot with all of my old, old camera gear. Gosh, I hate, I really kind of hate giving up my camera gear, but I know that it is going to depreciate faster sitting in my closet than it would if I just go ahead and pull the trigger and sell. Still trying to convince myself to do this. Please comment down below if you have a better place than eBay to sell camera equipment. I really, really, really want to know. So let me know quickly because I've taken photos and in a future episode, you're gonna see how all of this stuff does. So if you've got a better place, let me know now. If you liked this video, hit that like button. And if you haven't yet, please subscribe. I make videos every day here on YouTube. Uh, tomorrow is Taco Tuesday, Two Minute Taco Tuesday. So make sure you subscribe and come back for that one. I'm Dave Hansen. I'll see you guys tomorrow.